cancer diagnosis can be scary, but when you get the right support and you have the right facilities that are helping you to recover, that can make all the difference. In your community, a brand new facility that we're showing you today on CI Living, Colleen Swick is the director of the Regional Cancer Center at Sarah Bush Lincoln. Thanks for inviting us down. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Yeah. What an amazing facility. It's absolutely incredible. This has been approximately two years worth of planning on part of the organization as well as all the staff and it's finally coming to fruition. All right, so give me some of the staff. What have, you, what have you got here? So we've got um, a building that's approximately 21,000 square feet. Wow. So it's very extensive in size, which allows us to offer some additional programs that we haven't been able to offer in our existing space, which is really exciting. Brand new facility, too, also means that you're going to have a lot of new technological equipment in here that can help with treatment. We do, we do. So in addition to the very large chemotherapy room that we have to offer, we also have a brand new state-of-the-art linear accelerator, which will be able to provide radiation treatments to all of our patients and so that really so that's really wonderful yes and yes so it is this was, this has been a, a concerted effort on the part of Sarah Bush Lincoln to expand what you guys do here because as a regional cancer center you have people cancer affects everyone we all know that so there's people all around and I think the advantage of this is that it's convenient and that it's and it's new it is it's convenient it's new and it provides lots of space for patients and their families or support people who want to be here to support them throughout their treatment because ultimately that's part of the one of the the puzzle absolutely. pieces to being successful in recovery. Yes, absolutely. I love that. One of the other things you guys want to do here is outreach as well. And there's a new community space. Let's go take a look yes. at that. I'll let you lead the way here. Sure. Why is this kind of space important? Well, currently, if we have patients who want to have support groups or meetings um, outside of their treatment, we don't have a place inside the facility for them to do that. They have to use uh, restaurants or potentially our education center. Yeah. This allows them to stay in the building with the people that they're very comfortable with and actually have those meetings on site. A beautiful space. It's a little sparse right now, but that's because you're going to be using it for the open house this weekend. We are. So we have an open house on Sunday from 11 to 3, but normally this space would be furnished with classroom style tables and chairs as well as a projection screen and a projector to allow us to share information with patients and their families. Really important to get people involved in the process, kind of that holistic approach to, to treatment. Yes, absolutely. I love it. Thanks, yeah. Colleen. Thank we appreciate you. it. So you heard about the open house, but I want to take you to the place where patients are going to be spending a lot of time so you can see it firsthand. The setting for treatment and recovery is so important when you have cancer, and that's one of the things that they're trying to do here at the new Cancer Center. And so we're talking to Dr. Abdur Shakir, who is one of the, who is the medical director and one of the folks who's going to be treating people in this fantastic space. Tell me about where we are right now. So right now we're in the chemotherapy infusion room. This is where most patients would get their chemotherapy, where they spend most amount of their time getting their treatment. I'm seeing as paired chairs here. So you've got one with the table, and then one to the side. Why is right. that important? So what we wanted to establish when we developed this cancer center was to have family members be able to sit with the fam with their spouse or their loved one while they get chemotherapy. And why is that important as a doctor? You, I'm sure that that plays an important part sure. in, the, in the treatment. Chemotherapy is one of the most difficult treatments for a patient. So we want a patient while they're getting therapy to feel comfortable while they're getting it. Yeah, because they're here for hours and hours Correct. on yeah. end. I even see TVs over there. Yes. So we want <laughs> we want them to be feel as most comfortable as possible while they get their therapy. We want them to be at least... Uh, with family members and be relaxed while they get their therapy. And why is that important? As a doctor, you're t dealing with cancer patients all the time. Why is it important to have that kind of support? What does that mean sure. for the patient at the end of the road? Chemotherapy is just only one aspect for treatment. A lot of the other aspects for treatments is support systems at home, is giving moral boost for patients too as well while they get therapy. Yeah, and so when you have your family right here around you, you have some television to kind of distract from what's going on, you know, right. you're, you're able to get the treatment that you need and be able to be successful and feel good about it too. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. People can see all of this great space coming up this weekend. Absolutely. So this Sunday between 11 and 3 o'clock, we have an open house where we welcome the whole community outside of the community to come in and take a look at what we've established here. Wonderful. The Regional Cancer Center at Sarah Bush Lincoln. Thank you so much, Dr. Shakir. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Definitely check it out. The open house, the information is on your screen right now. And if you'd like more information about what's happening here, head over to the website, sarahbush.org.